Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I wanted to talk about the experience materials, Heroes Wit, Adventures Experience, and Wanderers Advice. I wanted to talk about these because after hitting its, uh... Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I wanted to talk about experience items in Genshin Impact, and the fact that they are much more valuable than you might think, and you need to stop spamming them on random characters to level them to 20 or 40 or whatever because you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot long term and you're going to be wasting so much resin it's not even funny. Now I want to explain this because you know we did a whole video yesterday on how different uh domains have different value. You know, artifact domains at AR45, they have a huge spike. They become very very valuable. Where talent books, they kind of stay the same value from pretty much 28 to 36 to to 45. Honestly, at AR36 they are only fractionally, fractionally worse than at AR45. The majority of the time you get two blue books, or two green books and two blue books. And even at AR45, you get two greens and two blues, and, and maybe 5% of the time you get a purple. So if you're spending your resin at adventure rank 36 to farm these books, it's almost as valuable at 45. And with Mora, that scales up, obviously. At adventure rank 45, I'm getting 60,000 compared to 28. But weapon ascension materials, bosses, uh, the, the talent books, they're relatively the same value overall. And if you look at how much resin to level out and max out a character to level 70, it's like maybe, I'm just going to say easy terms, I don't know the exact math, but like let's say 200 resin here, um, 200 resin here, let's just say. Ley lines for experience is like 800. It's like three to four times worse. It is absolutely insane how much experience you need and how little that these give until the later levels. It is out to lunch. Now, there are ways to get experience books in game. There's a bunch of chests around the map and they give books, right? There's these little, these shrines here. These are, these are shrines that I had opened up. They give you some books, right? Um, if you are spending money on the game, even if you aren't, you can get a lot of books from the Battle Pass. Tons of experience in the Battle Pass. Honestly, these Battle Pass books, this is probably one of the only reasons why I would recommend spending money on a Battle Pass if you were. Because this is actually tons, tons of materials if you're actually able to max it out. If you want to see how far you can get and then make that decision, go for it. But there is a lot of experience here. But the other thing too, is your daily commissions. Even in the lower chapters, right, you start getting some, some experience, but you start getting purple books relatively early for relatively easy stuff. And it just keeps going from there. But the other thing too is, is quests. As you're questing through the game, you're going to get some experience. And right now I'm pretty low level on this account, so you're not seeing any like purple books or anything amazing. But there are activities on the map if you go over here. You know, between quests, we've got these little dungeons. Right? These dungeons start dropping some. They start dropping some purple books. Right? There is a lot of ways to get the experience in the game. But if you blow through it, you then have to do the ley lines, which are probably the worst bang for the buck early on for all of your resin in the game. These are absolutely trash tier. They are abysmal. And uh, when the community event came out over here, the what was it? The elemental thing? I was spamming it because the, the experience you got for resin was actually higher by like like 30%, let's say, than the ley lines. And everyone's like, what are you doing? Why are you spending all your resin on this, getting these experience books? <laughs> and I'm like, I need them. <laughs> I got to have them. Because you are going to run out the higher adventure rank you get. So here's what I recommend you do. If you look at my characters, I know we said this multiple times. Beto, she's my main DPS. I max her out. I send her first. But even my secondary main support, Venti, I have ascended, but I'm letting him trickle his experience and get as much experience as I can. Chang Ling is my other support. Barbara is my other support. I have ascended them to a level and I'm letting them gain the experience as we go. This is 20 books. This is 20 um, green books or, or, or even 10 uh, of the blue books. This adds up. And if I can eventually get her to 40 without ever spending a book, awesome. She doesn't die. She doesn't even take damage. She's on the field for like two seconds, never ever taking damage. I don't care how much her HP is, and her attack is fine. But here's the thing, is weapons are always valuable. 
and the jump in damage that you're going to get from weapons is way more valuable than actually leveling your character. You get a big hit from ascending a character. You can see if I if I go to my attributes here and I go to send, you know, typically you get a passive, maybe even a passive ability in the talent tree. You're getting some attack, defense, HP. Ascending a character is great. But leveling a character from 20 to 40, yes, it's going to give you some stats. But in many cases on your support characters, it's not enough to make a difference. If you're going to level anything, level up the weapon. Get some base HP on Barbara. Level up the weapon, get some base attack and elemental mastery. This is going to go much further than spending all of this uh, resin and all of these leveling books on characters that are just popping an ability. If you're getting into the Spiral Abyss, you're a high tier character and you need multiple good characters, you do your thing, okay? You do your thing, but my god, the amount of experience you need to level these characters is out to lunch. I honestly think they need to rebalance it because, as I said, the resin needed... To level up a character to 80 is probably four times the amount of anything else. It is probably uh, three times for sure, four, maybe even five times the amount of resin needed to get all the experience books um, to level them up. So if you're going willy-nilly and you're leveling that one to 20 and this one up and this one up and all these people up to different levels, you're shooting yourself in the foot long term. You cannot do it. And I did it on my main account and I, I, I you know, I, I've been hounding for experience books, but I'm playing it a lot smarter on this secondary account. I'm AR27 right now. Okay, I need to level her up. But if you look at my if you look at my bag here, I've got all the materials I need to level her up to 60. Boom. The second that I do. And uh, if I want to ascend my other characters, I will over time if I feel they're starting to be really weak. But my main DPS does like 95% of the damage. The other ones they're just applying some debuffs. They're just applying a little bit of pressure. Maybe they're even taunting an opponent if I'm using Mona. But if I need to take out a shield, a fire shield, Barbara at level 1 does just as good as level 60, okay? If I need to take out a, a, a particular shield, I can do it very easily, even with underleveled characters. And I think that this is something that I wanted to put out into the world and, and make sure I told people now because I'm noticing the benefit of really focusing on just using quest experience on my main characters and really leveling up through uh, just fighting basic mobs and really min-maxing that experience coming in because this is the one that's going to burn you, I think, the worst. So, there it is. There it is. Use your resin on talent books. Use your resin on ascending your weapons. Make sure you're doing all your quests and getting all your commissions and things done. But don't get greedy. With the experience books okay thank you that's it i'll talk to you later bye bye oh wow would you look at that m tashed mango splash is back in stock you can get one of the best friggin energy drinks you've ever friggin drank with a link down below you can use code m tash for 10 percent off that's incredible no seriously get some m tash mango splash it is absolutely fire if you're not a coffee drinker but you need that extra kick for studying or gaming or whatever get some mango splash baby